Are you both sure about this decision? Divorce is a very serious step and I just want to make sure you've considered all your options. We've thought about this long and hard enough. Our marriage has been strained for a while now, so we think this is the best way to move forward. I hear you. However, relationships can be repaired. And I just believe that both of you can explore other options. Have you tried couple counseling or therapy? What's the point? <laughs> no need for that. She won't make it any easy. I don't understand. Am I the only one contributing to the failure of this marriage? Ah, uh, yes. 80% of it is on you. No, actually it's not. As a matter of fact, I think that you are the... what I'm talking about? Look, this is just the best option. Trust me. You know, I've never seen any man so stuck up in your ways like this one. I can't stand him. Yeah. Divorce is the final answer. I agree. 100%. Hmm. Okay. So what will happen to the house? He should move out. That's what men do. In what world, please? Are you out of your mind? A house that I built, so you can move in your new toy boy. Look, I listen, I own the greater share of the house. I'm not moving anywhere. Greater share where? And no, I am not out of my mind. Both of us contributed equally to the building of this house. Uh, <laughs> no, listen, I, I laid the foundation of that house. Mm -hmm. The only reason you contributed to building that house was because we were getting married. That's you saw the, me building the house. That's not the point. You contributed, I contributed, equal contributions, finish. What calculations are you using? I what do you mean equal contributions? I don't know. Maybe you should check your own calculations because I've checked mine. Look, this is outrageous. Fine. We both will live in the house until we're able to sell the house and then we can split the fee. Now you're talking. That's better. All right. Whatever decision you both come to, I just hope it's one that favors both parties. And I truly wish you joy and happiness, whether together or separated.
hope you're not thinking of leaving this place like this. So what if I do? Huh? Besides, your part of the kitchen has a sink and the taps. How am I supposed to wash up? Huh? How am I supposed to clean up, my dear ex-wife? Besides, this is my side of the kitchen. Okay, and my side, my business. So mind your damn business. Oh. What happened? Cat got your tongue? Huh? <laughs> so this is what it feels like to have the last say around here. Huh? Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you can't deal with it, then move out. Hmm. I bet you'd like that, right? Well, guess what? It's not happening. Then deal with it! Whatever! You should have seen his face this morning. Smog. And I know he did it intentionally to upset me. Clearly it's worked. Look at you. He should not worry. She he feels like he's the only person that knows how to push buttons, right? It's okay. I'm going to wipe that smog off his face. Angie, this is crazy. Just move out. It's not like you can't afford to. And the house is already up for sale. What does it matter who lives in it now? Calm down. can afford to get another place, but he's refusing to. I mean, I'm not going to back out. I will not, because it's a matter of principles for me. Principles? What principles? No. Madam, make it make sense. I've never lost anything in my life before. From something as little as a game, to something as big as a marketing pitch. So I'm not going to lose. Definitely not to us as a... So what you meant to say is that this is a matter of pride. Kemi, this is not 30 seconds. This is marriage. You're on the same team. And if you win, you win together. <laughs> and if you lose, you lose together. Thank you, Madam Counselor. <laughs> but me and Osaze are no longer married. So let the games begin. I'm done trying to reason with you. You're impossible. See, don't even disturb yourself with me, Anastasia. Let's focus on work. So how far with the Afrimore campaign? <laughs> My dear, they're supposed to get back to us by the end of the week. End of the week? Yes. I thought they said they were going to send it tomorrow. <clears throat> Please, don't mind those people. Just let me go to my office. I have work to do. Maybe you should send them a reminder mail, yeah? Yeah. Alright. I mean, she just stood there and said nothing. It was a sight to behold, bro. Kemi speechless. <laughs> that never happens. And you're proud of yourself? No, clap for yourself. Guy, if you're here to spoil my mood, please go back to your office. Go to your office. Why don't you just move out? Instead of tormenting this small girl. Eh? What of all the times that she tormented me? Have you thought about that? Huh? Everyone knows I don't do dishes. Even my mom can't make me do dishes. I'm telling you, look, when we got married, I tried to do some washing up. Okay, just to make her happy. But she never appreciated it. 
At every opportunity she got, she turned on me. She, she, I wasn't doing anything right. She would tell me, put this here, oh, why did you put the sponge here? Why did you, oh, why did you see the back of the plate? Who cares about the back of the plate? Everyone eats from the front of the plate. If the back of the plate is greasy, then deal with it. She's the one that asked for a divorce. She should move out. Do you remember when you were chasing this girl? Running up and down, you were so in love. Now your marriage is over. You cannot come to an amicable resolution. As if that is not bad enough. You cannot just, you cannot just move out of the house and separate like normal people would do. Instead, you divided it and each of, each of you go in your designated ways. No, now. I guess marriage is a place love goes to die. Don't do it, bro. No. It's a trap. No. Don't get married. I believe marriage is what you make of it. Just like every other friendship and partnerships, bro. I believe. Well, I have a meeting with the new CEO. Alright, no Allah. Okay. See you later, man. Honestly, I didn't want you to not get married, man. Please face your work. Hello, beautiful. Can I sit? <clears throat> um, there's something I want to talk to you about, so uh, I don't know if I can have your number. Hmm? No, I can't give you my number. Come on, don't be like that. Hmm? Just your number. Yeah, I'm actually waiting for someone, so... Okay. Okay, that's the one reason why I need a number. Because I don't want the person to actually meet me here. You can have mine. Come on. Smile. <laughs> See? Hey! Sorry, I'm late. Traffic was crazy. You're here now, so that's good. Yes, I am. Is this your friend? Uh, <clears throat> no, no. I was about leaving that anyway. <laughs> I'm so sorry I did that. I was sitting over there and, you know, watching what was going on and it looked like I had to step in and help out. Yeah? Well, you didn't have to. I'm not a damsel in distress. I can take care of myself. Oh no, I wasn't referring to you. I, I meant him. I, I was watching him and it didn't look like he could survive the rejection that was about to descend on <laughs> <in> him. <laughs> Okay, she's smiling, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, that's a smooth pickup line. Creative and original. I should use it for one of my TV commercials. Are you a copywriter? A creative director. Oh, interesting. My name is Osa Zer. Kemi. It's nice to meet you, Kami.
So I know, I know I made you laugh a few times, right? I had a good night, so I guess it's safe to conclude that it was a good night. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're funny and modest. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, jokes. I made you laugh a lot, but my mother taught me not to brag, so. Right, okay. I'd love to see you again. Okay. Can I get your number? Yeah, sure. <laughs> what? You know you can just ask me to give you my phone, right? And you can punch the numbers in? Yeah, I'm old school. This is fine. Okay, you carry sticky notes about all the time? All the time. I mean, I can't imagine having a brilliant idea and not having where to write it. You know there's an app for that, right? Yeah, everything is better on paper. <laughs> Thank you for this. I know this is going to sound um, quite contrived, but <clears throat> you are by far the most interesting person I've met in my entire life. Okay. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Why are you going to looking like that? Last I checked, I was happily divorced. I can do whatever I want. That's your explanation for looking like this? Look, I have the whole world ahead of me to explore. Relax. Kemi, what? why are you dressed slim? Just attend a bridal shower. Uh, I wanted to stir things up a little bit. Hey, <laughs> Kemi. Uh -uh. You just want to confuse this man's head. Yes, Abby. I do, actually. Mm -hmm. I decided that every time I'm leaving the house, I'm going to look pang. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So what's in it for you? Well, I just want him to see me and miss out. Yeah, he needs to know what exactly he's missing out on. Oh, do you understand oh me? Oh shit! Do you understand me? But there's still. Let's go, Abe. Surprise, you're happy, oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. I feel so free. I feel like I should celebrate my divorce. Jesus, Kemi. Celebrate divorce? Yeah. Like big cake and invite friends over for a cake. Yeah, that, and maybe more. <laughs> Who does that? Kemi does that. You are taking the whole divorce thing too extreme. And it sends a different kind of vibe across. What vibe? Like maybe you are not happy with the divorce thing. <laughs> I don't think you understand what I'm saying. I'm telling you that I've never felt so free before. That's the kind of vibe you should be getting. 
yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you mean you're celebrating our divorce? What does that actually mean? That our divorce is worthy of celebration. It feels good to be free. Where well, have you ever heard anyone celebrating their divorce? Huh? A divorce is not a good thing. It's a good thing. For me. For us even. At least we agreed on that. Kemi, what do you want people to think of me when they hear that my ex is celebrating our separation? Hmm? You're painting me out to be a demon here. This is not about you. Besides, what were you doing listening to my conversation? That's not the point. Okay, the point is that what you're doing is not okay. Hmm. Please, mind your business and stick to your half of the house. What does it even mean, dude? Have you heard anything like that before? I'm actually brainstorming on the perfect name for this cake. Finally free. Yes. <laughs> oh no. Once married, now happily divorced. Yes. That would be the perfect one. This guy is not even <laughs> funny now. It's not funny. You don't have to make a joke with everything. What would you have me say? You're already divorced. So listen, whatever she does with her life is none of your business. So stay in your lane. That's my advice. Have you considered what this celebration will make me look like? Let me think. A terrible person? The divorce already passed that message, bro. I mean, if you weren't a terrible husband, you wouldn't have a divorce issue to deal with in the first place. So just chill. Let's have a ball. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'd like to say something. Okay. You know, I used to hold back because I thought that the past was all that mattered. But I've learned that um, letting go is knowing that the future is greater. Yeah, exactly. That it might just be more promising. It might be brighter. Yeah, yeah. And so this is me embracing my future. Wow. <laughs> Cheers to freedom! Cheers to freedom, baby! <laughs> Is that not Osaze? This guy is so annoying. You know he knew I was going to be here. How did he know? He heard me having the conversation. When he won't stick his nose in his own business. Wait, where are you going? I'm going to have a chat with him. Kemi! So you decided to bring your date here? Oh, please don't flatter yourself. I didn't know we were going to be here. Plus, you don't own the place, do you? Wait, like I don't know you. This is low. Who was that lady? Wait, did you know she was coming here? I mean, you were too quick to change the location. Is she your wife? Hell no. Babe, I'm single as a Pringle, okay? Okay. 
Let's get something to drink. Oh, I'm not married. <laughs> so it's not enough that you brought this girl to my party. You decided to bring her to our home. I am a happily divorced man. I can bring in whoever I want into my house. <laughs> At least my half of the house. <laughs> come, 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 come. <laughs> What are you doing there? Good morning. You're on my side of the house. You're not supposed to be there. What does that even mean? She's someone brought you here. Okay. Maybe you should go and ask him. Madam, there are rules in this house and everyone abides by them. You see this house, including this kitchen, is divided into two halves and everyone maintains their half. So maybe you should go upstairs and ask your invitee to show you around so you don't break the rules. Hello? Go, go, go on, take, carry everything. Why would he do a thing like that? Have I ever brought a man to the house before? Sweetheart, you threw an open party celebrating your divorce. Uh -huh. So your ex-husband is free to do whatever he wants. Why are you getting so worked up? So it's okay for him to disrespect me. That's what you're saying. Both of you are living in the same house because nobody wants to move out. Maybe you should move out and save yourself the headache. That is not happening. Well, then you should stop complaining and mind your business. Yes? Yeah, I'm coming. Who bring them? The one man. One man. Yeah, that's how you do it. So you just you collect anything from strangers as they come here. Well, it's for delivery man. Delivery man. Your mouth like delivery man. My friend, leave this place.
Ooh. Are those for me? From who? Who brought them? You're asking me, how am I supposed to know? Okay, sorry, I just got excited. <laughs> Osazia is downstairs dying of jealousy. Kemi, what did you do? I got myself a fancy perfume and sexy lingerie. What? From who? I didn't know you were seeing someone. I beg, I'm not seeing anybody. You. I just decided to pamper myself. And well, I decided to have some fun with it. So I may have told them to add a love note to the package. Kemi. <laughs> Why are you doing this to the poor guy? Which poor guy? Or Sazer poor guy? I beg, I beg. Wait, where were you when he was turning my kitchen into a, a pigsty? Uh -huh. mm. so, so now it's your kitchen. It's no longer half and half a bee. I beg, I beg. Whose side are you on? Uh -huh. I beg, I'll call you back later. Let me look at my stuff. I was the one who introduced her to that perfume, you know. Yeah, my buddy for how I was dating. And she never stopped using it since then. So, because you got her the perfume, does not mean someone else cannot get it for her. What kind of a man sends a gift to another man's wife? In their home? What's doing you, guy? Is it the fact that somebody sent a gift to your house? Or the fact that someone sent a gift to your Kemi? She's not my Kemi. Then stop acting so jealous. Exactly. I'm not jealous. You though. are. You cannot just sit here and tell me you're not jealous after whining for the last 15 minutes about how somebody sends gifts to your wife. Ah. In fact, um, Mr. Bankoli sent this slip over. I, th I think it's something about uh, gifts. You should call your people and have them deliver what he wants to his house. I don't know. I need to leave. Yeah. Ciao. Later. Yeah. Osaze, you can see that it says secret admirer and meet. I didn't know who it was from. So now you just bring random gifts from strangers into our home? I told you before. I was in a meeting with a client all day. My secretary just brought it to me. I didn't even look inside. I just told her to put it in my car. Whatever. Where are you going? I'm going out. Please, let's finish this conversation. Besides, where are you going to? We're supposed to meet with them, media and Fola. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere with you. Why are you doing this now? What, what do you want me to tell them? Tell them whatever you like. I'm not going anywhere. Babe, you've been working for hours. Come to bed. Not now. Oh, I want my wife in my arms. Come, come, come on. Come. Come. Listen, this pitch is due tomorrow. And I have the entire team working. I can't sleep until I'm done with it. They can wait, okay? They can wait. Just come up for five minutes. I promise you, we'll be done and you'll come back here. Yeah. Five minutes for what? You know now. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you five minutes and I'll let you go to do your work. Promise. We promise. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
No, 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 no. no. Oh, give me no. a minute. Make it work. One second. <sighs> Who is Jamie? Hello, Jamie. Can I talk to me? Yeah, I got the email already. I responded. Oh, you sent another. I'm opening it right now. Yes. Yeah, I'm opening it right now. Let me see. Oh yeah, I like this. This works. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, I really like the colors. Yeah, it works, it works. Super. Okay, all right. Thank you. You are here. But I must be trying to reach you. Why? What's up? She said you guys are supposed to go for sightseeing or something. Oh my god. Oh my god, and I still have work to do. She's waiting for you downstairs. You better hurry. Okay, thank you. Okay. Alright. How are you, my dear? I'm very well. Okay. Um, I'm guessing from the look on your face that you've heard the office gossip about my failed marriage. You know I care about you. Yes, ma'am. I and my husband started a couple's meeting where we just drink and talk. Can you just join us? Ma, thank you for the invitation, but Osaze and I are already divorced. We're done. If we were over and done, you wouldn't be living together. <laughs> no, ma, that's a different arrangement. That's for the house, not our marriage. Join us this once. Okay, ma. Thank you. She wants to come for a few days. A few days? Yeah. How many days? Uh, a week. A week? Ah, no, baby. Mm -mm. I mean, I love your mother, but this is not a good time. Yeah. I tried, I tried talking her out of it, but she wasn't taking no for an answer. You know how moms can get sometimes. When is she looking to come? In two days. Two days? Ah, no. We have to convince her not to come. Right now is not the time. I mean, even if she's coming, she can only come and stay for like maybe two days. I'm working on a client's pitch deck right now. There's so much going on with me. I'm not going to have her time. And you know how she is. You can't even order takeout for her. I have to focus on her. Like, this is not the time, please. Kemi, are you listening to yourself? You want me to convince my mom to come here? and stay for only two days. Her son's house. Okay, maybe three days. Kemi. It's not a good time, babe. When is it not? Well, when is it ever not bad timing? You're always working. Wait, are you complaining about my work? Yes, 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 I'm complaining. I'm, 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 I'm tired. You're tired of what, Osaze? You knew how demanding my work was from the get-go, and you went ahead and collected my number. So what exactly are you tired of? That was three years ago, Kemi. Three years ago. We've been married for two years. I, I thought by now you would have figured out how to be a wife. Saze, if I haven't been your wife for two years, what have I been doing? Don't do that, Kemi. Don't do it. That's not what I meant. You know exactly what I meant. Kemi, you're not even trying. You don't keep work at work. You work here all the time. This house is practically an extension of your office. Do you even think about I think kids? about having kids. 
Are you joking? Like, I want to be a mother. But I'm not going to let raising children ruin my career. Who is asking you to do that? That's not what I'm saying. You're not the only person that has things they are unhappy oh, about in this marriage. Great. Just great. I, I, I bring up an issue I have and you want to turn it on me. Because it's the truth. It's the truth. I, and, and since we're getting things off our chest, I'm also tired. Osaze, I am tired of feeling alone half the time in this marriage. Oh, please. Please, Kemi. Just own up to your bullshit and work on it. That's what you need to do. You know that's the problem with you, right? All you know how to do is lament about my inadequacies. Guess what? You're not exactly doing a stellar job of being a husband. I'm know. always, you never listen to me. I don't Why? I don't bother having this conversation. You know what I've done, okay? I'm done talking. Present surprise. Thank you. I'm not your mother. Leave my hand. I'm not your mother. Please. Where is my son, please? Mommy, why are you sounding like this? Welcome. Oh, Let me go and get you water. Hey, hey, hey. Please stop pretending. Stop pretending. You and I know that I am not your favorite and you're not mine either. Please. If I need water, I know where to get it. I beg you. Mommy, I'm just trying to be nice. <laughs> Don't try, please. Don't bother yourself. Where is my son, please? Not around, ma. Mommy, I want to get you. I just want you to settle in. That's all. Don't worry. I said, don't bother yourself. See, I was still going to settle in with or without your permission. This is my son's house. Whatever I need, I get it. Please, no pretense. Because I know you didn't even want me here in the first place. Please! Uh, ma, it's not like that. There was a miscommunication. What I was saying to him is, I'm very busy this period, and if you come now, I won't be able to take care of you. So it's not like I told him I didn't want you here. I don't know why you're bothering yourself. I said, don't bother yourself. I know my way around this house, and I know how to take care of myself. Whatever I need, I know where to get it. Please, let me be. I beg you. Do you want me to kneel down to beg you? Please, it was a long journey. I need to relax. I'm begging you. Please. Sorry. Ah! Please, if you need anything, let me know. Whatever, whatever. Mm. Let's go. Let me know. Where is, where is he? Ma, he's not in the house. Oh. I wonder why you tell your mother that I don't want her to come here. I mean, it's true, but why would you tell her that? I had to come up with an explanation for why she could only stay for three days. Oh, Saze. If you are not the object of hate that is arrowed towards me, tell me why you couldn't give her any other reason. Are you being worked up about this? You know how inquisitive my mother is. My mom is already a difficult please, please, person. Please, please. Just cut the crap. You are a busy person, I'm a busy person. We have busy schedules, so why couldn't you tell her something? You had to just foil the already fired up relationship that I have with her. Kemi, I'm not the reason why you and my mom don't get along. Okay, you need to fix whatever is going on there. Break the gap and leave me out of it. I see what you're doing. I'm trying to save my own head. You, you, you want me to tell her, oh, mommy, you can only stay for three days in my house. You see, you and your mother, you can't wire up any negative energy around me. As if you're not the one with the negative energy. Eat, 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 eat. Hey. What's that? When was the last time you ate homemade food in this house? Eh? Look at you. You look so malnourished, see? Eh? Mm. See? Ha! So you mean you're practically living like a, a, a helpless bachelor in your own matrimonial home? Eh? 
My son, listen to me. Before I leave, I want you to give me enough money. Enough money, I'll go to the market, buy things and prepare soup. Not just soup, soups for you and stop the freezer. I don't understand. I don't know how you survive without food in this house. You claim you're married. You claim you're married. Yes, French flowers is okay. Same address, correct? Okay, thank you very much. All right, so I need your signature here Good. and Fine. here for the merger. No problem. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry, sir. I just, um, I know it's none of my business, but I, I, I was thinking of asking you a question, personal question. Sure. Right, and, uh, so I know I don't know you that well, but uh, I've noticed since I've been here, you've never failed to send your wife fresh flowers every single week. Why do you do that? <laughs> Have a seat, young man. Now, I mean, I may not know much about women, but one thing I do know is a woman will submit to a guy who treats her right and who provides her with security. The only time a woman feels safe is when she feels secure. Not my wife, sir. She's... She's too strong-willed and independent to admit to anything. She never apologizes. I can count on the one hand how many times she has apologized for doing something all the time we've been married. But I didn't know you were married, though. I didn't see a wedding band. Um, oh, yeah. <clears throat> my ex-wife. We're no longer married. Yeah, but boy, did I cover her. I, I sorted out her bills. There was nothing she ever wanted, like except the first year of our marriage where she contributed to building our house. I sorted out all her bills, every single thing. You know the saying that her money was hers and mine was ours? Yes. That's exactly what happened. But all I'm hearing now is finances. That's what you're talking about. You know, the modern day woman has a career. They don't need your money, at least not necessarily. What I mean is emotional security. You know what the scripture means when they say love your wife as Christ loves the church? What they mean is love your wife unconditionally, consistently, and without fail. I mean, that's why I send my wife flowers every week. Because I want to show her that I'm consistent with my love. Even when I'm upset, even when she knows I'm not happy with her, I will still send her flowers. Wow. That must be mighty difficult. <laughs> I mean, what part of life isn't? We spend so much time climbing this corporate career and we expect our wives or we expect our marriages to be on autopilot. How would you expect a marriage like that to flourish if you don't put in work? Yeah. With all due respect, sir, you don't know my wife, okay? She's... Really? She's just stubborn and proud. Sometimes I wonder why she even got married. Listen, when I met my wife, she had way more money than I did. I mean, people warned me. They told me to leave her alone because they believed she couldn't be tamed because she was too independent. But like I said, a woman will submit to a man who loves her right. Unless she's a terrible person. I mean, are you trying to tell me that Kemi is a terrible person? Is that what you believe? No, 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 she isn't then there you have it. As long as you're consistent with your acts of love. And what I mean by that is, the things you do when you're happy, if you still perform those same acts of love when you're having bad times, then I'm sure you'll be fine. So you're saying I shouldn't get upset even when she's wrong? I did not say that. Communication. If you're upset, let her know. If you need time to process, say so. Women don't like up and down yo-yo love. Do you understand? Especially civilized ones. I mean, at the end of the day, your marriage vows, did they not say through good and bad times, for better or worse? Yeah. 
exactly. without it throwing our whole lives in disarray. I think you're being dramatic. Dramatic? Or so there, every time we make plans that involve other people, I have to walk and tread around you lightly. Because God forbid I upset you. Then I have to go to the wedding by myself and start explaining to people why my husband suddenly cannot show up. You know what? I, I can't deal with this right now, okay? I'm sorry. You're literally doing exactly what I'm talking about right now. You know that, right? Taking my route. Why is she going to think I'm following her? Is that no Sazi? Why is he following me? blocking the road. Why are you following me? Look, I'm not... Madam, it may shock you to know that the world doesn't revolve around you, okay? Coming from the one who couldn't keep his eyes off of me earlier. You know, I was just wondering to myself, why are we headed in the same direction when we're going to two completely different destinations? Mm. Well, I don't want to keep my gentleman friend waiting. Enough with the silly games. Well, gladly! What are you doing in my boss's house, Kemi? You... Wait, what are you doing here? What do you mean your boss's house? Hello. 
Unless your gentleman friend is invisible, I'm going to have to conclude that you made him entirely up. So this is what you do now, making up imaginary dates. <laughs> Are you trying to make me jealous? Oh, please, I don't owe you any explanation. <laughs> so good evening, everyone. Thank you all for coming. So let's get on with it, shall we? We are going to start with an icebreaker, okay? So everybody, please focus on your partners. Osaze, nice to see you. So is this your Kemi? She's not my... Ah. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is the Kemi. Okay. Good to see you again, Kemi. It's a small world, isn't it? Yes, sir. So, let's focus on your partner, okay? Focus on your partner. Stand up, please, everyone. Perfect, perfect. Very good, very good, very good. Yes, that's perfect. Now look your partner in the eyes, please. Look your partner in the eyes. Look, this is starting to look awkward. We might as well just pretend to be playing along. Shh! This is a quiet activity, please, okay? So like I said, take each other's hands, and right now, gentlemen, I'd like you to place your hands on your partner's back, and ladies, I would like you to place your hands on your partner's neck. Very, very good. That is it. That is good. You know? Okay. Put your hand. Don't be shy. Just put it there. Sazia, you're doing very well. Just like that. Relax. You're doing good. You're doing good. Okay? So look into your other eyes, look into your eyes as you breathe in and out. I'd like you to breathe, please. Look each other in the eye and breathe deeply. Synchronize your breathing. Really good. Really good. I'd like you to, ladies especially, please caress your man on the neck ever so gently as you breathe. Good, good, good. You're doing very well, very well. Okay? That is perfect. Now split up. Ladies, you can sit down. Gentlemen, please follow me. Today, I'd like to talk about work-home balance. When I was younger, I aspired to be the ultimate Proverb 31 wife. I wanted to succeed so that my husband could be proud of me. But we were still beckering at home, and it was tearing us apart. Until I met a woman who taught me that the Proverb 31 wife is for the marketplace. Is the sons of Solomon's wife. for dinner? I'm starving. Shut up. Sorry, I, I didn't make dinner. Come on, babe. Sorry. You know I was working late today. What's, what's... I'm sorry, I'll just... Let me just order a takeout. Real quick. Good point. It's going to take too long. You'd have ordered it and asked me to pick it up. Or at least asked me to eat in the office. I'm it's... sorry. Like, there was so much work for me to do. Let me just order now, now. Like, all of this work just... Just forget just... about it. I'll go make noodles or something. No, oh, baby. I'm sorry. Tender, active, considerate. 
And it's actually not hard as we think once you become intentional about it. Okay, everyone. Now listen, this last activity is called State Don't Critique. Now each one of you will tell your partner the one thing, the one habitual thing you wish they did not do and how it made you feel. You basically state it, but please don't criticize it. Why don't we start on this end, Kemi? Oh, no, 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 I didn't plan to participate. Okay. And we're technically not together, so. I understand that. So how about we go back to, let's say, last year? So what is the one habitual thing Osaze did that you did not like? Well, I didn't like that I couldn't count on him when he was upset with me. And how did that make you feel? It made me feel like I was in a conditional marriage. I felt like I only had a partner when he wasn't upset with me. And that made me hold back. Because it just felt like at any time, the carpet could be pulled from underneath my feet. Please excuse me. Are you okay? I'm fine. Just leave me alone, please. Okay. I'll be here if you need me. I just want to go upstairs and take a shower and sleep. That's okay. Good night. How far now? Where are you? Please hurry up, I'm running late. Uh, they're still here. Yeah, my car won't start. Oh. What happened to your other car? I sent it for servicing. Hmm. Come, I'll, I'll drop you off. Yeah, bring your keys. I asked someone to come pick it up and... Check it out.
So Mr. Bankole is us as his new boss. Can you imagine? How come you didn't know? Hmm. I mean, Osazia hasn't exactly been telling me things. We've not been in the best place. He hasn't been telling you things, but you guys are adding to my only's list. What? What's only's list? Yeah, only's list. You're the only divorced couple that I know that are living together, and the only divorced couple that I know that are attending marriage counseling. We're not having marriage counseling. We just attended courtesy for our bosses. Hello. Anyways, how about the house? Any good offers on the table? Nope. Why do you seem so unconcerned? Isn't it uncomfortable living with your ex? Osaze opened the door for me today. Osaze opened the door for me. He never does that. I mean, when we were dating, occasionally he would do it, but not since we got married. So what? You guys got divorced only to start dating? Is that why you're so unconcerned about the house? Angie. What is your plan exactly, Kemi? Angie, I'm just saying that that was very sweet. That's it. Besides, we're divorced, not enemies. Sweet, Abby. Please, I have work to do. You can go now. Kemi. This thing is getting more and more complicated. I just want to know what your plans are. I have, I have things to attend to, please. Help me go to your office. <laughs> cool. Madam Counselor. Look. Hey. Hey. This is a surprise. Ah. <laughs> uh. Pleasant one, or? I guess I'm about to find out. What are you doing here? The car. I brought the car. You fixed it already. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know you didn't have to bring it, though. I could have taken a cab home. Yeah, I know. But I also know that you're in and out of the office a lot, so I know that you need a car. Yeah, but I have access to company cars. Yeah. Look, I just thought, you know, to do you this one nice thing, you know, sue me. <laughs> okay, thank you. That was very thoughtful. There you go. That's not too bad, is it? I guess. It wasn't too hard to say. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I also wanted to say that the agent called and was hoping to meet us on Wednesday. He says he has an offer for us to discuss. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'll be seeing you at home? Yeah, sure. Okay. <clears throat>
What are you doing here? I thought you had an early start. Yeah, I, I have something to do before leaving for work. Okay. <laughs> so is this kind of like a thing? Have a nice day. I don't think this works. I think we should just wait for a better offer. Yeah, I I agree. I think I think we should wait. Why? This is literally the best offer you can get. Besides, it's higher than your asking price. Yeah, I see that. But this property is I don't know, I think yeah, we should Yeah, maybe maybe we should keep this and uh, and discuss it and, and get back to you. Discuss? What's there to discuss? Wait, you guys are no longer interested in selling the house. No, no, no. 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 That's, that's not what we're. That's not what we're saying. Um, I think we we just need to um make sure that we're making the right decision here. I mean, in terms of the offers, um, we don't want any regrets. Okay, if you say so. Let me know when you're ready. Every day I come out, I see him by my car, he opens the door for me, and he tells me to have a great day. Yeah. <laughs> Today he had to be somewhere early. Guess what he did? He told the security man to do it. Then he left me a note. <sighs> like, he really warmed my heart. Aww. I know. <laughs> Every day? Every single day. Like clockwork, once I just come outside, I just see him standing there, opening the door. Like, it's, it's so beautiful. Wow. So where was this romantic or sazi all this while? And what does this mean? I don't know. But I love it. <laughs> Wait, help me understand. So you guys don't talk about this thing that's going on between you two? Mm -mm. I know it's weird, but right now... We're just having fun. We'll have serious conversations later. But you know this can't work, right? At some point, you guys will have to discuss this. We'll discuss it later. Right now, we're enjoying. We can address the elephant in the room later. So on whose half of the house is the elephant? Yours or his? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> yes, I know. Yes, I know. <laughs> Anyways, let me get us something to drink, OK? OK. You have ice, Abby. Madam. Hey. Hey. Hey, how's work? Good. I'm just I'm tired. I want to just jump in bed. Oh, okay. I'm uh... Trying to make noodles to eat. Do you want some? Thank you. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, you know what? Let me go freshen up and make your papa meal. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you.
Thank you. I miss you. I'm sorry, I, I have to call her back. I, she tried to call me earlier and I said I was going to return the call. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. At least it's not my fault this time. Yo. He's leaving me, Angie. He's gotten an apartment and he's moving out. Okay, calm down, babes. Just talk to him, okay? I mean, you guys seem like you were trying to patch things up. Exactly. So if everything was so good, why would he get an apartment? In all fairness, you guys didn't exactly establish what this is. And maybe he doesn't know how you feel. I'm not going to beg him. If this is what he wants, then fine. Kemi, I am begging you. Please put this your pride aside for just one minute and see reason. No. I didn't stand in the way of the divorce. I'm not going to stand in the way of this one. If this is what he wants, fine. What do you mean? I thought you were the one who asked for a divorce. I was mad at him. Kemi, so Asase called your bluff and you just went with it? He didn't try to stop it either. If he did not want the divorce as well, he shouldn't have sent me papers. Why did he send me the divorce papers? Besides, you know that it's not as if everything was perfect between us at the time. And what if he was only just mad at you? Huh? Clearly, both of you refused to leave that house. You don't understand. Like, I have the papers here. I've seen the lease here. He's moving out. I've heard you. But I still think in light of everything you've just told me, you need to talk to him. Please, Kemi. I've heard. Kemi... Don't let your pride get in the way again. I beg you. No problem. I've heard. Let me call you back. Hello? Yes. We'll take the offer. Accepted the offer from the agent without discussing with me first? 
There was nothing to discuss. Like he said, that was the best offer on the market. Kevin, what's going on? We were going to sell the house in the first place, weren't we? Yes, we were, but I... I thought... We... I just thought we... You thought what? Never mind. Let me know when the paperwork is ready. Hope you had a good day. Yeah. Babe, I know you want to move out. Please don't. Move out? Where'd you get that from? The real estate guy bought your key. Is that why you accepted the deal from the agent? Because you thought I wanted to move out? Why did you buy into? No. The apartment was for my sister. She, she got posted to Lagos for NYC and she asked if she could stay with us. But I said no because we were having issues. So I thought to get a place for her. No, I feel stupid. It's okay. Should have talked to you about it. Yeah. Sorry. Can we just fix this, please, and just put all of this madness behind us? Maybe go back to how things were? No, not, not go back. We can make things better. Okay, we need to keep attending our bosses' parties and learning how to love each other. Sorry. I love you. That's the third time you've apologized already. That's more than you've apologized in the last year of our marriage. Well, get used to it. You're going to hear it more often. I love you. Okay, and I never want you to be in doubt. I'll always show up for you. Okay. Not only when I'm happy, every day, regardless. You'll never have to go to a wedding party alone. I promise you. And I promise to make time for you every time I get back from work. Both of you. Am I missing something? No. <laughs> no, you didn't miss out on anything. We want to get married again. That's good. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> we want to give ourselves another chance and just fix us. That's good. That's really good. Well then, uh, congratulations. 
I'm happy for both of you. Thank you. <laughs> I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is better.